All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys all remember the remote control lawnmower. This bad boy right here. So whenever I did this video about this, there was only one thing that was missing that would make this lawnmower perfect. And that thing was a nice chair. So I got to looking and I did my measurements and if all my math checks out, we should be able to just pretty much attach this chair basically exactly right there. And now we should have ourselves a ride on remote control lawnmower. And now I'm pretty sure you're probably asking yourself, how are you going to attach this chair to the remote control lawnmower safely? Well, I would like to introduce you to my friend, Big Zip Ties. I think that with just a few uh, big zip ties, we should be able to make this thing very secure and safe. And there we go. Simple as that. One of the best lawnmower upgrades you could do. Uh, just do me a favor. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me how smart I am. I know I'm basically a genius. So before we go outside, let's give this thing a little... Uh, in garage test, make sure everything's working the way it should. This th this is actually very very stable. Oh, all right. Let's see. This <laughs> this is actually gonna work per so perfect. This is so great. And then now, the best part is that with this type of chair, oh, there we go. I can just relax. I don't even have to think about nothing. Let's go outside and see if we can mow some grass. Okay, so now we're gonna do like a, just a little preliminary test. Start it up with, with the engine running, drive it around a little bit, and just see how it functions. I feel like this might be the best thing I've ever done. All right, so now we are gonna do some testing on a hill so that we can make sure that we have not compromised the functionality of the lawnmower by putting the chair on top. I think it's gonna be fine, but I'm curious.
So I'm actually really impressed with that because I thought that if we were gonna have any problems where all the weight is on the back and then with me sitting on top of it puts even more weight on the back, I figured that going up the hill it would really want to flip backwards. But as long as I lean forward whenever it feels like it wants to flip backwards and just kind of shift my weight, it seems to be completely fine. So, so far this thing seems to be awesome. So now we're gonna try a hill that is just a little bit steeper. I'm gonna try, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do this one in reverse because I feel like that's the only way that I'm gonna make it and not uh, flip them over on top of myself. So I feel like that actually worked out perfect. So let's try to go uh, steeper. All right, so if something bad happens, it's gonna happen here, so. So what happened is whenever, whenever I got to a point on the hill where I couldn't go up anymore, the right hand motor uh, just completely stopped working. So I couldn't uh, inch myself up the hill and it just kept trying to like spin me in circles. And then whenever I was coming back over through here, I was going forward, but only with the power of the left track and the right track wouldn't, wouldn't spin me and wouldn't do anything. And then just randomly it started working again. So I'm not sure if, and it does, the right track, for whatever reason, does feel much hotter than the, or the right motor feels much hotter than the left motor. So I don't know if maybe it got overheated and then cut out, and then once it cooled down, it started working again. Or, uh, or if maybe there's like a short in it or something. So I think I'm going to let it cool down for a few minutes, and then, uh, I guess try again. Alright, let's try this again.
So I guess letting the motor cool off doesn't really matter because the same spot that I got stuck on where the motor stopped working is just so happens to be the exact probably maximum angle that I can go up without wanting to tip over. Um, I don't know what that is, probably 35, between 35 and 40 degrees or something. Probably 35 is probably the max that I can do with, with me in the chair, with me leaning back as, as far as humanly possible. Which honestly isn't that bad. So you could totally put a chair on one of these things and just have it like a riding mower that you just remote control. And then whenever you get to a spot that you can't sit on it, you could uh, just let it, you know, operate it like a normal remote control lawnmower. Although, I do think that the extra weight, since it's not designed to carry a human, I feel like the extra weight is gonna wear out the motors uh, way faster since one already cut out on me. But other than that, I think it's a great idea. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.